friends. Today is going to be my reading planner update. Currently, it is August 8th. I have not planned August in my reading planner yet. I planned on doing this last week before we got to August and I didn't. So hence why we're in the same shirt as the video we just filmed. So today I will be going through a little bit of my planner setup for what I've been doing on my monthlies which that I've just been doing for the past couple of months and then also showing you something that I have done have been doing in the month so like what I normally do when I set up and then what it normally looks like at the end of a month okay to the top down view so a lot of you have already seen this planner this year um, I made this myself with um, some extra happy planner rings and I ordered these this cover and some dividers and things you zoom out just a smidge and basically the front is my reading log for the year I realized I just kicked the tripod that was nice of me um, but the front is like my reading log for the year so these are the books that I've read so far for the year and I think I'm on a fourth page now yep on a fourth page of those now and then when I was doing this my dumb butt realized I didn't put anything on the back side so I might as well utilize those um, so this is like my stats for the TBR takedown um, so that I have those with me every month when I do my TBR takedown videos and then this is my list of DNFs or unhauls. Um, I'm calling those DNFs or unread unhauls. There are a few books that I have not read that I've unhauled because they were like parts of a series of books that I've also unhauled. So I've had quite a few of those this year. I haven't figured out what I'm putting on the backs of the rest of these, but hey. I have some backlist priorities. I am not doing great on those actually. Actually, where? is my gray highlighter. It's over here. I read this. So ta-da. Okay. One down. 497 to go. Um, my series I wanted to finish. My 2020, 2021 anticipated releases have also read a few more of those. Um, and then my pre-orders are down here. This is my ARC tracker. So these are all of the books that I have ARCs of and their release date and if I have read them or not. I have moved on to the back page of that guy because I've been getting a lot of ARCs. This next section is the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge section. And that was a lot of words that almost didn't come out. Um, this was January to December. And so far I have quite a few Avengers. I thought that two pages was enough. So originally I just had this page and this page. And then once those were full, I had to add a page into the middle so I can have all of my pretty Avengers stickers for all of the Avengers that I have won so far this year. And then these are like where I keep track of um, each month it has like a different a live show and recorded mission analysis which are us watching the movies together um, different boss battles mission logs which are the character boards and um, special missions which are the group books for the month as you can tell I have not filled out August and was kind of lax for the second quarter of the year but hey uh, originally I was doing this style of a mission log which are the character boards um, and eventually realized that that was going to be a lot because I mean we were only like four months in and I had like a million and a half of these and a lot of it is wasted space so I started doing them this style which I actually like a lot better I wish I had done them from the beginning like this but I didn't it's fine um, a because a lot of these characters don't I don't have stickers for that are like the large size sticker or I only have one of them so that I don't have a pretty one to put up here with the rest of my crew. So 
I changed to this style. This style is working out really well for me. I'm really enjoying it. So I will continue to do this style probably for the remainder of the year. At the beginning of the year, we were doing them this way, um, putting a shelf in with my TBR, filling in what I had read, coloring in the books I have read, I guess I should say, um, any notes that I had, uh, new releases, and then would highlight them if I read them that month. And then the hauled books and would highlight the ones that I had read and then doing a little snippet bit about my thoughts, feelings, comments, questions, concerns about the books that I read with a picture and them. And I really enjoyed doing this, but I definitely fell off the wagon of that in July. I didn't do a single one of these in July. And I don't know if there is like a particular reason for that or if I just wasn't feeling it, but it didn't happen in July. I also, a couple of months in, started doing I think it was in March. No, not March. April? Yeah, it was in April. I actually started making these smaller so you can see the difference in size. And that was in large part due to wanting to save paper because, you know, printer paper is expensive. There was a lot of readathons in June. There was the Whatever-thon. There was the Queer Lit Readathon, which I believe is on the back of this one. The Queer Lit Readathon, and then also my Summer Scare Readathon. So I did a lot of layouts for those, which I was very happy with um, how those went. And because I was reading so many books, I wanted a monthly page so I could like track out what I was going to read and when I was going to read it. Um, as you can tell from some things that are not highlighted, not everything got read. But this definitely helped when I had a crap ton of books that I was reading. Um, and because of that, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and pick up a different, um, a new planner for the year and do a new style. I tried using these, which were, and this is probably why I stopped in July. Um, I started, I tried to use this teacher planner layout because I have so many of these and I was going to try to write on these instead of, um, doing it with just regular lined paper, but I didn't like it. And so I think that's probably why I didn't do it anymore, but you know. So July, I actually picked up a Happy Planner monthly layout. The monthly layout is also the layout that I use for my writing planner. And so it has your divider, it has a full two page calendar spread, and then has this place for goals um, to check it up so like a list a note to yourself your top priorities just um this is just a grid and then this is thankful for but i will show you this is august which i again have not done yet and it's the eighth of the month but i'll show you what i did last month so these also have these pages these daily task pages and i'm trying to figure out if there's a way to use these or if I'm just gonna use them in my other planners. I haven't completely decided. Like that's one good thing about Happy Planner is like you can move things around as you need to, but you know, um, obviously no, I mean, if this is the first page of July and this is the end of July, I didn't do any of like my printout, my little thing, it didn't happen. So on the two page calendar spread, I actually put in a little book and wrote in the title of the book when I finished a book, 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 book. And so that at least shows me like where I'm reading and where I'm not. And I actually have the tarot readathon in here, but I ended up not actually doing that. Um, you know, cause that's life. I need to fill out a couple of these as well. I actually did end up reading, well, DNFing, Lifeblood and The Host. And I'll just do a little bit of a highlight on those. I mean, this was technically the beginning of August, but we're gonna color it in anyway. Same for Crown of Midnight. I can't remember if I did this was the last of July or the beginning of August, but we're gonna go ahead and color it in. So this is what I've been doing or what I am doing. And I do think this worked out for me very well. So my top priorities were the Tarot Readathon, which I didn't do. This is more of a, like bigger projects that I wanna remind myself of more so than necessarily a top project or a top priority, but that's a whole other thing. The vlog for the oldest books on my TBR, which I believe when you're watching this, you will have already seen. 
um, my haul, so any books that I hauled for the month, I can keep track of those here. And then my stats for my books read, pages read, and then I can do a picture of my favorite book of the month up here. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this part quite yet, if there are any new releases, and then um, any arcs that I have. I probably some months will need more like this space for my arcs, um, which may be what I end up doing is doing this is new releases, this is arcs, or vice versa, um, which is probably how this month will go. I do have a post-it on here for, I look to see what new releases were coming out this month that I knew I wanted to check out. Um, so I've got those on here and I think I have September's on as well. Yep, September's on as well. Just trying to keep myself together. So I think that is everything. That's kind of my update. It's kind of a half ass update, I know. But you guys do keep asking like how, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And obviously, as you can tell from this, I'm not doing very well currently. Um, I've definitely got some more things that I could work on, but it at least shows you, you know, some ideas and things that you may want to utilize in your own planner. I don't know if any of these things would work for you or not, but they're here for you to use if you would like. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen in here, let me know. Otherwise, back to my face. Alright y'all, that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!